Dotipa is standing by. The theme this year is Advancing Science Tourism at the National Science Week taking place at Nas Mandela University at Missionville campus. While most students have a theoretical understanding of maths and science, most of them are struggling to apply this knowledge practically. This according to research done by the Northwest University, which partnered with Ferdinand Passman High School to establish an academy in this area. Let's take a, let's take a look at a package done by Nicolene Smallman in the Northwest. South Africa is ranked last in the quality of science and mathematics education. This is according to the World Economic Forum's Global Information Technology Report of 2016. Elsa Hutton is responsible for the selection of prospective engineering students at the university. The faculty does not get enough applications from students who meet the minimum requirements, and many who do qualify battle on a tertiary level. We also see that the guys that do meet the minimum requirements and even have distinctions in these subjects struggle to pass at the university level. That kind of a, a learner can answer an examination question um, on mathematics but the moment they are conf confronted with that same problem in another setting or in a real life situation they are lost. Um, they lack the insight and the in-depth understanding of the concepts. The university wanted to reach out to a local school to tackle this problem. This led to the birth of the Seth Academy and Ferdinand Posma was chosen as it is a bilingual school with many learners from rural and disadvantaged backgrounds. Applicants must have at least 80% for mathematics and physical science, 70% for English or Afrikaans, and a total average of 80% on his final grade 7 academic record. Established in 2013, this year's matrix will be the first to graduate from the SETH program. And the school is confident that they will flourish in their university studies and careers. They have realised that learning is not memorising. Learning is about a lot more into alia, pro problem solving, reflection, uh, integrating knowledge, um, rethinking and change constantly. So they, they really know what is the purpose and that's why we are so overwhelmed with joy because of the fact that the kids really excel. The pupils attend afternoon programs every week. Lecturers from the university and other professionals in the industry present sessions based on the school curriculum and demonstrate the application of school knowledge in real-life situations. This week, apart from an interactive mathematical problem-solving session, they learned more about different soil types, solar panel prototypes and electrical circuits. But Seth goes beyond science and mathematics, teaching pupils how to draw business plans and design web pages. The, the lessons that you learn throughout the years, you, you won't remember all the technicals, but the most important things are your interaction with people, um, these so-called soft skills. So then, um, you know, generally it'll teach you conduct. The biggest difference that, that it's made in my life is presentation in front of people. It's um, personal development that helped me get to the point where I am today. So Seth has also learned us that diversification is a very important part of your learning process. You don't, you don't just go to school and stop learning at school when the bell rings. You stop learning when you go to sleep at night. About 100 pupils per grade are accepted into the Seth program each year. The cost of Seth is not included in the school fees. Last year, 48 of them were awarded bursaries to participate in the program and prospective students are encouraged to apply for these. Nicolene Smallman, SABC News, Potschefstroom.